Welcome to Living a Sustainable Dream. And today I am home uh, with a brand new battery bank. Now my old battery bank has finally perished. It is on its death knell. It's about dead. Um, and I've taken good care of it and it's lasted seven years, which is pretty good for the T105 batteries and the use that I put it through. So let's see, uh, let me do a number crunch for you and I think I can do this off the top of my head. But you have 225 amp hour batteries and what you do is you string them in a series, six volt batteries in a series of four to create 24 volts. That's one string. You times that by three to get for three strings. So you have 225 amp hours times three for three strings. That's 675 amp hours of stored power. And you times that by 24 volts and you get yourself the watts. And I have 16... 1200 watts or 16.2 kilowatts of stored power now these batteries do not do well if you discharge them too much so you can discharge the t105s uh, to about 80 percent and have them on 20 percent but that's really rough on them and you only get 700 recharges if you do that so the least amount of power that you use out of them the longer they'll last is the um is pretty much the philosophy. So what you want to do is have a strong solar panel system or a strong backup generator that will keep you from really dipping below 50% on your battery use. So what that equates to this is the brand new batteries I bought, I don't have three strings, I only have two strings. And this is a more expensive battery and it's even more expensive than the T105s, but I have more power than what I had in the three strings. So let's just do a little bit of math on that. Each one of these batteries is about 428 amp hours of stored power. Now, if you multiply that by two, that's how many strings I have, that would be 856 amp hours of stored power. And then you multiply that by 24 volts. Now off the top of my head, that's a lot of math for me to do, but I'd say we're probably around 20,000 watts or 20 kilowatts of stored power. Now I cannot use all of that. Uh, it would damage the batteries and you can only discharge them and recharge them so many times. And this battery says that it would like to be, uh, keep it around a discharge of 50% and don't go below 50% unless it's an emergency, but you wanna try and keep it at 50% discharge and then recharge them very quickly with your generator or make sure that your solar panels are keeping up with your usage. So that means I have 10,000 or 10 kilowatts of power every day at my disposal if I take it down to 50%. So what am I using? Um, with the 670 amp batteries, I'm throwing a lot of numbers at you, but with the 675 uh, amp hour battery bank that I had before, I was walking away with maybe 10% usage, okay? So at 10% usage, that means I'm using about 67 amps of power a day. And that's on a day where there's no sun production. Now you take that and you kind of go, okay, that's 10%, sometimes 10, 15%, depending on the weather or the day or the winter uh, length of the sun. But 10 to 15% is, is not bad. Now with this new battery bank, it's gonna be less. I'll be using probably maybe 8% of this brand new battery bank. This bank is a lot bigger, but still I'm still using the same power. The goal is to last longer in the winter so I don't have to charge as often, or that a sunny day can come around and hopefully charge the battery bank up during a week. If I can get one day of sun a week, that would definitely sustain me for quite a while. Two days of sun, I wouldn't have a problem. Uh, so that's kind of what we're, what we're trying to bank on, but we do have a strong generator that will charge batteries. So here's, here's the PT cruiser that I'm in. This is our car. And here is two batteries for the front seat passenger. And then back here is two more batteries. And then Four batteries. So we got a total of eight batteries. So now I'm going to have less batteries to maintain because I got a bigger battery. Uh, so I'm not going to have 12 batteries anymore. I'm going to have 
eight instead. So that will make maintenance a whole lot easier. So now I got to figure out how to get these things in the house. And um, they're heavy. They're 125 pound batteries. So it's going to take my wife and I both to to get them in. Go okay. ahead. Be the first. All right. Forget it. Right here. You want to set it down nope, and then do go. it? Okay. Okay, that is not a good spot for that. Sorry, but we clogged into that last time. Sorry, right. next two will be easy peasy. All right, so here is half of the new battery bank. As you can see here, I got a piano dolly with just a sheet of plywood, and I got the four batteries. So on that dolly right now is 125 times four, which is 500 pounds. So I got the new hydrometer there to tell me how the batteries are working and what our voltage is to see the voltage drop and so forth. So we got that ready to go. And we'll replace the old one that has seen its day. Let's take a look down here. It's the, the Rolls Surrette battery and the 4000 series. 122.5 pounds. Fold to a fourth of an inch below the vent tube, which is these things right here. And here's the amp hour cycle. So 428 at 20, 428 amp hours at 20 hours. And then 556 amp hours at 100 hours. Okay, and then you got bulk absorption, float, and equalization. So this is a lead acid battery. Um, very cool. I got these at Backwoods Solar. Check them out online. Uh, these are the S550 six volts. These are the ones that are the ones that have been around quite a while. Backwoods been um, selling these for a while, so uh, they're kind of tested and tried and true versus anything else. But there we go. That's the batteries we chose. This is our battery bank. I'm We've, excited. We made an improvement. Chris is very excited that she's making salmon burgers on the propane stove for dinner tonight. Yep. Woo. Those were some heavy, good batteries. Nothing like a little bit of work and exercise after a day of work. There <laughs> right. we go. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. That's batteries, kind of a little bit of one-on-one, what we've been using and what we're doing. And now we're going to get this battery bank and I'll show you when it's all set up and ready to go.